this video we'd like to explain the expansion channel mode. Basically the expansion channel mode is where you would select one charger as your primary or your master charger and the other chargers are going to be the expansion channel chargers or the slave chargers. When you uh, select the expansion channel mode um, it's the same for the Power Lab 8, the same for the Power Lab 6. Um, they must be the same type chargers connected. You cannot connect a Power Lab 8 with a Power Lab 6. The primary charger can control one or more expansion channel units. It sends over preset information, controls all aspects of charging and balancing. To get started, you'll need a couple of chargers. In this case, we're going to use the Power Lab 8s, but the Power Lab 6s will work the same way. You're going to need a Y connector or Y harness, a male to male three wire extension. I'm also going to show you how to use the PC uh, interface, the FUIM3, with the charge control software for this operation. I'm going to start by connecting my charges together. This just makes it easier. And you can actually uh, secure them with a couple of servo screws to the two center holes here. Next you're going to determine uh, which charger is going to be your primary charger, which charger is going to be your expansion channel. I'm going to use the uh, left charger as my primary charger and just to make sure we're going to press both the increase and decrease to go into the choose task mode and then we'll hit the increase button once till we go into charger options and then we'll press enter until we get to the charger address and we want to make sure that is primary channel we'll press and hold the back button takes us back to the uh, preset screen and now we're going to set the uh, next charger up and we'll do the same thing and this charger we will set for expansion channel 1 Okay, next we're going to connect our uh, cables up. Um, it doesn't matter uh, which charger the uh, Y harness goes into. I'm going to put the Y harness in our primary charger. I've connected the PC interface. I'm connecting the male to male pigtail to the primary charger. And now to the expansion channel. As you can see the display uh, switches over to expansion channel number one for the uh, expansion channel charger. And I do apologize for my display, but it's extremely bright and it doesn't show up too well on the video. Okay, I have both batteries connected, so now I will start by choosing a preset. And I'm going to select a LiPo Generic Accurate Charge preset. Ask me in my paralleling packs, which we're not. And setting the charge rate. We'll go ahead and bump this up to 5 amps. Discharge rate will leave the same. And we're going to select just a charge only. We are using banana jacks. We're going to verify the chemistry. 
and now both chargers are charging using the preset that we've we've uh, edited on the uh, primary charger. Okay, one thing you'll notice is as I scroll through the uh, different screens, it'll show you for both chargers. But you'll actually see specific information for each individual charger, such as the um, internal resistance reading, the uh, capacity going in, and the cell voltages. Okay, next I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, start a uh, charge using the charge control software and uh, this should give you a, a better uh, understanding as you'll be able to see the screen okay so we have our charges connected we have our uh, primary and our expansion channel selected we have our batteries connected so now what we'll do is we'll choose a preset and we'll edit it and we'll start the charge This one will select preset number two, which is a faster charge preset. And as I select this, you can hear the charger beep and it's uh, switching presets. Now we'll go in and edit this preset. And I'm going to adjust the charge rate. We'll select 5 amps for this. Okay, after you make the change, you must update the charger. Although you're making a change to the uh, preset for the primary charger, the presets that are stored in the expansion channel charger do not change. It's just using the uh, preset from uh, the primary charger. We'll go back to the cells tab. So now we have the lipo generic fast charge preset selected, set at 5 amp balance. And we'll start the charge. We have our box for used bananas checked. And we're going to do a charge only. Again, we'll verify chemistry. And now on the screen, you can see both chargers come up, indicating the cell voltages. When using the uh, expansion channel mode, the only restriction is is the batteries must be of the same chemistry. They don't have to be the same cell count. And to end the charge, we will just hit the stop. And that will wrap this video up. Thank you.